Hi, I am Rahul Mishra. I am a fashion designer. My studio is based out of Noida in UP, and I work from different regions all across India. I showcase my work at Paris Fashion Week, and I am one of the newest entrant at Haute Couture in Paris. My journey has been really amazing. I have seen. almost every kind of life which a person can live starting from a very very humble beginning in a very small village called malhosi in up my early childhood was really humble for first 10 years of life i studied in a school that had thatched roof and we used to sit on jute gunny bags on the ground and study then Finally my father being a doctor always wanted that I should become an engineer or a doctor but somehow since the beginning I was fascinated with art craft and I kind of enjoyed creating things that's how I had a very big struggle in my family like a normal north indian you know middle class family where father would say if I get into art i will not have stability in my life and probably career uh, was really really important at that point in time so when i said i want to be a designer there was no choice left for me and then after that i got a chance to run away from my house i reached my sister place she was living in delhi i went over there then i got to know about an id and the bath i applied for an id I got into an ID, and I wanted to be a filmmaker when I went to an ID. But somehow my qualification was not good enough to join the course in filmmaking. So I had to settle with apparel design and merchandising, one of the weakest courses at that point of time, which was offered from an ID, and the Bath's Pardi campus. but somehow that entire thing about apparel design gave me lot more freedom to learn about various things related to design and one of the biggest impact what happened to my life was meeting late professor mp ranjan ranjan was the best design thinker i could ever think about he showed me the way he showed me the power of design how design can solve so many problems across the globe he somehow introduced me to mahatma gandhi now the mahatma gandhi which i know and that was the point when i understood the value of gandhi ji's talisman which says any step you think about taking in any direction think of as the weakest person you can help to gain swaraj so idea of satyagrah swaraj swadeshi all these things i learned when rajan took me to coach ravashram and he showed what amazing design thinking gandhi ji had and how every step every garment or anything which i create in life should have inclusivity about people who can work on that india as a country which has got more than 45 million people related to craft and another 60 million people related to allied fields so it's a huge number after agriculture the craft is one of the largest employer but now when you see craft and when i started traveling all across india looking at craft i went to kerala met master gobinathan over there master gobinathan started a great initiative and that was my classroom project from an id i took a train from amdavad to nagarkoil reached a district called balrampuram and very small village over there where i met master gobinathan he was single handedly helping to employ more than 700 women weavers and these weavers had very small dreams but 
somehow bigger than all of our dreams put together. They were dreaming about earning enough to be able to send their kids to school. They were dreaming about earning enough to have, you know, food on their plate. That has somehow changed me as a person. And that taught me a design thinking, which Ranjan showed me. So as a person, I was born, although in a small village called Malhasi in UP, but as a designer, I was born in Kerala, the small village where I stayed for more than a month. When I came back from there, I started feeling that design is a superpower, which can change the world, which can create so many solutions around us. So that is where this entire thinking started. So although we had involved ourselves in various projects across different villages of India, starting from Kerala, but it was an afternoon of 2012 when I went to a workshop in Dharabi and one workshop in Jija Mata, a slum area where I came across a group of artisans doing the finest work I've ever seen in my life. They were doing it for a super luxury brand, which has turnover in multi-billion dollars. All these people, they had migrated out of their villages, working from that tiny space. They would, 20 of them would work in that space, then in the evening time, they will erect those carts next to the wall and would sleep over there. Just for the simple thing like nature's call, they would walk a couple of kilometers. There was no drinking water available. Who will take shower every day? And we are talking about hot and humid conditions of Mumbai. Although these guys were earning they could earn enough to support their families and they were spending really less amount of money on themselves. Most of them were having one cooked meal in the evening and that meal would continue with serve as a breakfast next day. Away from family, working really hard because the jobs could not reach to their villages. So that's why they have to leave their home, migrate almost 2,000 plus kilometers in search of work. That is how I found my calling. I started asking them if they would like to reverse migrate from that place. I would like to use embroidery as a tool in my work. And that is where this process of talking to these people started. There's one amazing craftsman, Abdul Dariwala. Who, was, who came to Bombay from, from a small village called Bondpur in West Bengal. He migrated over there in 1984. In the same area, from the same region, more than 200 people reached to the same pocket of slum in Mumbai, living together, supporting the families. Abzal Dariwala, who was living from 1984 in a very, very small you know, room or chawl. After earning for 10 years, he could build a beautiful house in his village, Bonpur. One of the most peculiar things of villagers is to get the dignity, the first thing they want to do is, first thing on the bucket list is to build a house for themselves. And he did build a house in 1994. And it took me almost 20 years to have opportunity to able to live in that house when we asked him to reverse migrate back to his village. Then after that, this caravan started of people coming back to the village in Bondpur. Now we have got around 200 people working from Bond. And this place is completely socially audited in terms of happiness quotient, in terms of social security, and all these people, they work from there. 
they earn the same amount, even more amount than what we're do, they were earning in Mumbai. And they get home cooked food. They live with their children. They take care of the old parents and they are enjoying fruits that they're earning in the houses that they built for themselves with their hard earned money. And because of happiness, they create some of the most remarkable pieces for us under our guidance. This is power of Indian village. You know, this pandemic has taught me how fruitful, how good this reverse migration as an exercise is, which allows us to continue our work. Like after pandemic, Paris Authority Body asked us to do a digital show. And I think amongst all the designers, I was the most ready because still people were working from home. From the safety of their home, they could still embroider for us. I think as a designer, it becomes a greater responsibility for me or for us as a team to create designs which are more inclusive, designs which create opportunity for people to be able to participate. And I'm, I'm extremely proud to share that we are able to create some of the most unique pieces of clothing ever seen in the world. And this is all happening in very, very small, tiny villages of India. And all this produced by villagers who probably would have never gone to their, to any school. They have never got any formal education, but they are just got gifted and they are the most skilled people I have ever come across. I will again go back to Gandhiji's idea, which is written in, in a beautiful book called Harijan, where he said that the real independent India will emerge out of villages. Cities are, are snatching away not just resources which are supposed to belong to villages also because 70% of India still live in villages and 30% India lives in cities whereas 70% resources of India are spent on 30% population which lives in city. And they also take away talent from the village. I think Best India, economically as well as socially, can emerge out if we can create through our entrepreneurship, through our abilities, we can create jobs back in the villages so that people do not have to migrate out and they do not have to live into the conditions where humans should not live or nobody should live. I would like to end my talk with this thing. That let's all try to include villages, try to decentralize the processes which are involved in producing anything and include people who need us the most. Thank you.